So I've had this microscope sitting on my desk for quite some time, and every time I use it, I always feel like so crammed, like you have to look inside the eyepiece and you have to find what you're looking at and then focus on it. There's gotta be a better way. And then I started to think of some sort of camera that I could mount on this microscope. And then it dawned on me, I have a cell phone and it has a beautiful camera on it. So today we're gonna be making a cell phone mount so we can display what we're looking at with our iPhone. Let's get started. I've designed this iPhone mount to fit an iPhone 5S and hopefully produce a very nice image using the camera setting on the iPhone. All right, so it looks like the design is done. So let's go ahead and get 3D printing. Alright, so I pulled off the model and I cleaned it up. I was so excited. I got my iPhone out and realized something. I designed it from facing the back of the phone. I designed it mirrored. Now the camera's over here and the hole's supposed to be... Mm. I didn't realize I did this until after I printed the model. Yeah, we got to fix that issue. So I mirrored the model so that it would be the correct way and reprinted it. And now we have the correct model. And this one I still haven't cleaned up yet. I haven't cleaned the support off the bottom yet. And you can see now the camera will work. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this model. All right, I got the part cleaned up. Looking nice, looking nice. Everything looks good. So now all I gotta do is just test my iPhone. All right, so here's my iPhone. Let's go ahead and test it. Well, the phone fits absolutely beautiful in there. Um, I did notice one little thing. It does cover up one of the sound buttons on the side. No big deal for me. Um, I think though I will redesign the model on a later date to bring that down so that it, we don't cover up our button like that because it is constantly pushing it so that may become a problem after a while. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the camera. We can see that we get a beautiful image there with my fingers. So now we gotta go put on the microscope and see if it works. I'm excited. Let's go do this. So let's go ahead and put it on the telescope. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> No! <laughs> I designed it again and it messed up. It's because this section here, it, it's too big. Sometimes you get designing these things and sometimes they just don't work. Oh my gosh. But this one I think I could because I can just put it on one lens and just set it down like that. Um, yeah, so I definitely need to make a couple modifications to this. But for now, we'll just put this one side on and just lean it over like that which we obviously don't see anything yet. We'll go ahead and turn on the microscope. There we go, we'll zoom that in so that we get a nice image there. Let's go ahead and focus in. All right, there we are. I believe that's working. Wow, that is extremely nice. Some of you might be curious what exactly we're looking at. Um, and what we're looking at is actually a piece of food. <laughs> I broke it down and watered it down and put it in here because I thought, hey, I would love to see what this looks like. And you know what I think? I think we need to get a bit closer. Let's go ahead and get closer on this guy. Let's see if we can't find a microorganism in here somewhere. Or a germ or something. Intriguing. Uh, look at that. That's very, very, very cool. Dang, I'm having tons of fun. So I, I need to definitely add those couple modifications. Other than that, I believe it's working. And now I can enjoy doing my microscope through a screen. 
All right, I think that this actually concludes this video. Um, pretty simple 3D design, makes your life a lot easier. Isn't that awesome? Thanks for watching, and of course, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you like this video, like it. I mean, if you dislike it, you know what to do, and we will see you next week.